I want to take a couple minutes to talk about Belmont Center and the transition it's gone through over the past 15 years or so. You know, I grew up in Belmont on the other side of the city, you know, close to the Watertown line, but I would always be in Belmont Center as well as all my classmates. You know, it was pretty much the center of things to do at a young age, especially in the mid to late 90s and early 2000s. You know, it wasn't always like it is now, hustling and bustling with plenty of shops and dining and restaurants and bakeries. Um, it, it was sparse compared to what it is today. Um, back in the day, you know, Rancatori's, which is like the center point of ice cream in Belmont, wasn't on, you know, Leonard Street there. It was on Belmont Street. So adding the ice cream shop and where Camella's is today, there used to be a bookstore that we'd go spend. My mother would take us to the bookstore to pick up books for the the week or the month or whatever it was, and if I was lucky, she'd take us across the street to a chocolate dream. You know, my father would pick up bagels every Saturday when we were young uh, from Brugger's Bagels. That's still there, and it's still a center of breakfast in Belmont Center. But now you're starting to see an influx of restaurants. Il Casale is, I think, just under 10 years old, or maybe around there, 2005 or so. Uh, maybe a little bit later. You know, Camella's is huge, obviously. Where else can you get a $6 cheese pizza that's pretty good? And um, you have other places like Nick's Place and Greg's Pizza that's been a staple, you know, ever since I was in high school. You know, it's great because we'd walk from the high school on lunch breaks to the center. You'd go to CVS or pick up a bagel or lunch or wh what have you. And now with the addition of foodies coming in in 2016, you know, you're going to see the center transform once again. So that space is very in demand and homeowners have greatly benefited from the area surrounding it. You know, the commuter rail is, is there as well. And when I was in high school, if I'd got Bruins or Celtics tickets, we'd, you know, park in the center and hop right on the train there and be in North Station in minutes. So it's it's a great area that's really developed over the last 10 years or so, especially. And, um, you know, I'm looking for good things from there for for the foreseeable future.